Welcome to the 5374 Swing Out Pantry Installation video. Before we begin, you will need the following tools. Power drill with the number two Phillips bit, bubble level, tape measure, pencil, and a three and four millimeter Allen wrench. In your box, you will find the following parts. One frame, two door mount pivot brackets, one stabilizer pin, two door extension brackets, top and bottom, five baskets, one bottom slide, 10 basket hooks, one lateral slide, inside cabinet, four M6 by 40 screws, two M5 by 14 screws, 24 number eight by 5 8 inch flathead screws, eight M4 by 15 screws, and an instruction sheet. Determine whether your door hinges are on the right or left side of your pantry. Ours are on the right side. Start from the bottom of the cabinet floor and measure up 60 and 5 8 inches. Mark with your pencil. Start from the front of the cabinet's face frame and measure back 3 and 3 8 inches. Mark with your pencil. Place the lower corner of the lateral slide where the two marks intersect. Ensure the lateral slide is level. Install to the inside wall of the cabinet using the number eight by five eighths inch flathead screws. Measure to find the center of your cabinet and mark with a pencil. Center the bottom slide with the center of the cabinet. The front two holes of the bottom slide should be five eighths inch back from the front edge of the cabinet. Attach the bottom slide to the cabinet floor using the number eight by five eighths inch flathead screws. Screw the two holes in the front and then extend the slide forward to gain access to four holes in the back. Line your stabilizer pin to the holes at the crossbar of the frame. Your pin should go on the hinge side of the cabinet. Install the pin to the frame using the M5 by 14 screws. Tightly secure using a three millimeter Allen wrench. As you insert the frame into the pantry, make sure the stabilizer pin drops down into the lateral slide. Also, line up the four holes at the bottom of the frame to the four holes on the bottom slide. Attach the frame to the bottom slide using the M6 by 40 screws. Use a four millimeter Allen wrench or four millimeter hex driver. Cycle the unit in and out. If you have a solid panel door such as ours, skip this step. If you do not have a solid panel door, then you need to determine the hole locations for both the top and bottom door extension brackets. First, we need to determine how much your door overlays the cabinet. Measure the opening height as well as the door height. Subtract to find the difference. Now, divide that number by two. You now have your overlay value. For the top door extension bracket, start from the bottom of the door and measure up 59 and 1 8 inches. Add your overlay value and mark. Then measure 3 8 inches from the side of the door. Add your overlay value and mark. Place the bottom corner hole of the extension bracket over the intersecting mark. Your top bracket should be centered horizontally with the door. For the bottom door extension bracket, start from the bottom of the door and measure up one inch. Add your overlay value and mark. Then measure 3 8 inches from the side of the door. Add your overlay value and mark. Place the bottom corner hole of the extension bracket over the intersecting mark. Your bottom bracket should be centered horizontally with the door. Now attach the door mount pivot brackets using the M4 by 15 screws. If you have a solid panel door like we do here, then you will attach the door mount pivot brackets directly to the cabinet door you will not need to use the door extension brackets. Start from the bottom of the door and measure up 61 and 7 8 inches and mark. 
Then measure two inches from the inside of the door and mark. From the bottom of the door, measure two and three quarter inches up and mark. Then measure two inches from the inside of the door and mark. Place the outside edge of the door mount pivot bracket where the lines intersect. Make sure it's level and then secure to the door using the number eight by five eighths inch flathead screws. Snap the door mount pivot bracket to the crossbar of the frame. Repeat the process for the other door mount pivot bracket. Cycle the unit in and out. Place the basket hooks into the frame. You will need to lift up and then bring down for the hook to catch. Hang the five baskets on the hooks. Your installation is now complete. Enjoy your product for years to come.